Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a single owner clean title clean Carfax car. Uh, it's a 1989 Camaro IROC Z28. It's a 5.7 liter fuel injected uh, car. Uh, it was bought by our customer. It's actually technically it's not a single owner. Um, our customer bought it from a friend of his with 200 miles on it and has owned it ever since. Um, so super low mileage, always been garage, very well taken care of. There's a Carfax um, discrepancy because of the state or my customer made an estimate on the mileage which shows 24.5 and it should have been like 22 something. So we talked to Carfax, tried to have that unwind. It is not total miles unknown. That's absurd. Um, but it is what it is. Um, it would take a lot of work through the state to unwind that and um, you know, it's we don't feel like the it's worth the effort considering the amount of time it would take and we don't have concerns about the legitimacy of the car because I know the guy that's owned it since 1989. So you can see the wheels. I mean, the car is in perfect condition. So he's had it and it's just not driving it. It sits in his garage. He put an aftermarket stereo in it. We have the original um, stereo. It's got Bluetooth in it also. Uh, the paint and the body are, I mean, they're just, they're immaculate. So it's the you see a lot of these in the five liter. I have not seen as many in the five seven. So if I understand, I think that was a Corvette engine for this generation. Cosmetically, all we did we did cut and buff the paint, but he'd had it detailed on a regular basis. The tires are in good shape. Sorry, that was a train. This is a T-top, so a removable top. Really, really clean. It's a, it's a cool car. And all original. Uh, well, that's, I mean, other than the stereo. So he put a stereo in it, and you can see there in the back is a box with the original head unit in it. So there's your door trim panel. Seats. Back seat is clean. You can see, of course, would be clean. Not going to be a lot of people sitting back there. So I'll get in and just walk through the equipment. So here is the, he had that installed. So there's the, um, the aux input for the stereo. Allows you to connect to an external device. So passenger side door clean uh, passenger side seat clean there's a little stuff here on the headliner pretty minor but just so you know dash is clean so I'm gonna turn the lights on I'm gonna roll the windows up so driver side window passenger side window just to show you that it works and how quickly it works turn that and then the uh, driver side will put down and then that's up. So it's got, um, so lights are on, and then, so I think, uh, this, let's see. So that's the, you can see the um, driver's or passenger side mirror working. So you can hear it working, actually. And then slide this over, and then, uh, Show you that this one works also. Okay, so the mirrors work. Uh, right turn or left turn signal, right turn signal, brights, um, the frost is on, uh, wipers, um, fog lights or driving lights, uh, fans. You can hear. Um, so there's a stereo. Turn that down a little bit. You can hear the fans work. Um, trying to think. So that's the trunk release. I won't do with that. But you can see like the center console. I mean, it's immaculate. This thing is just. I mean, it's so clean. There is no. Let me do the uh, locks. Uh, so lock. And unlock. 
So those work. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I think that's it. Horn works. Pretty straightforward. It is a tote wheel. So all the gauges are operational. So there's the tack, you can see. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this car is so clean. Really, really nice example of a uh, this generation Camaro. So, and again, he just wasn't using it, uh, not driving it. So it's has been stayed covered in his garage. I think uh, there's a it shows a title change in 2017. We've got an image on the. Um, we took an image and I have it posted in the ad that shows uh, he took his wife off the title, so that's when they, it doesn't actually show that the title was, um, a new owner was reported, it was updated or replaced with the duplicate title. So uh, anyways, and if you have questions about any of that, I'd be glad to talk to you and you can reach us at 503-227-2354 and thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.